when the astronauts, aeronauts, cosmonauts, whatever we call them, return to Earth after they've been in space for a long time. If you watch carefully, you always notice that the interviews are very short and they very often in very close proximity of other people. Because legend has it that when astronauts, those people, when they return to Earth, they've lost muscle tone. They sometimes even become dyslexic. Not true dyslexia, but they, they present as though dyslexic dyslexic in space. Why? Because we need gravity to orientate ourselves in space. And if you can't orientate yourself in space and develop muscle tone, fight the pull of gravity because gravity pulls down, muscle tone develops as an opposing force to gravity. It's in the opposite direction. Gravity is down, muscle tone develops when we, when we fight gravity to stand up. So when a baby is born and that baby leaves the relatively gravity-free environment of the uterus, such a baby has a similar experience to an astronaut, aeronaut, cosmonaut returning to Earth. It feels weak, it feels completely and utterly disoriented. You must remember, here it was in darkness, here it was warm and wet, and all sounds, smells, everything from the outside world was cushioned. But the moment that baby is born, that baby is born into a completely new universe, and that baby needs to adapt very quickly. And that's why the scientist says our first relationship is not with our mother, it's with Mother Earth, with gravity. Because when that baby is born, that baby needs to learn to orientate itself, it needs to bond with gravity, because gravity, after birth, exerts 50 times more, more hold on a baby than in utero. 50 times more. So that baby has to orientate itself in, in a gravity-full environment. It has to find its body in this environment, it needs to ignore, which it can't at the moment, on a multi-sensory level, all the smells, all the sounds, all the sights, everything that's bombarding their senses, and they need to navigate um, to find the breast, to find their source of nourishment, support, because while that baby was in utero, baby could smell mom. Baby could taste mom. So the moment baby gets reunited with mom skin on skin, that baby involuntarily, if the baby's vestibular system is mature and the baby wasn't completely traumatized during birth or the baby doesn't need medical care, the baby would instinctively gravitate, move towards the breast. Using what? Sight? Absolutely not. Using smell. But to be able to orientate, to identify the smell of mom's breast, to, to be able to move towards that, the vestibular system needs to be mature. So what can we do when a baby is born to enable a baby to transition easier from life in utero to life in life? Many, many babies do their transitioning spontaneously and naturally. But some babies really battle. And for that reason, skin-on-skin -skin contact is incredibly important. Kangaroo care is incredibly important. Why? Because then they start moving with mom. There's just one variable. Now they're outside, not inside mom anymore. But they can still smell, taste, feel mom. And they can still move with mom and feel the rhythms of her day and her body. Because that sameness soothes. So the first thing is to enable that baby to reunite with mommy, skin on skin. The second thing is for that baby to feel safe within their own skin. So now baby feels safe in the environment that's close to mom, but it also needs to feel safe in its own skin. And for that reason, babies need touch. Babies need to be picked up, held. Babies need to be rocked. And you'll notice that some babies are calmed. They calm down when you rock them. Some babies cry even more when they touch and when they rocked. The babies who aren't comforted by touch and by movement, those are the ones that need special care to be able to re-establish a relationship with their own body before they can re-establish or establish a relationship with gravity within a gravity full environment. And that's where massage comes in. And that's where caring touch comes in. Firm caring touch. And that's where 
kangaroo care comes in. That's where swaddling comes in. Not all babies need swaddling. All babies benefit from touch and massage. Not all babies need swaddling. But the baby who doesn't feel safe in it, in his or her skin, benefits from swaddling. They benefit from skin on skin. They benefit from kangaroo care because it enables them to orientate themselves again in terms of mom, themselves, and then with um, gravity. Because it's only once they've plugged into gravity that they can start orientating themselves in gravity, which means it enables them to find the breast. Otherwise, they may battle to latch. They may battle to find the breast, obviously. Latch, they may battle to suckle, because there are too many things that goes on at the same time. And that baby may um, battle to thrive, and not because mom necessarily has a problem with milk, but baby is just suffering a little bit, just needs a bit of support to transition to a life in um, gravity, close to mom, close to her heart, close to her smell, close to her touch.